Callie, many congratulations. Thank you. Winning start in your World Championship today. You must be really happy with that one. Uh, I think the win wasn't wasn't pretty. wasn't class. wasn't good. wasn't uh, It was a battle. Um, not proud of the win as in the way I played, but it's all about the win. And to me, that's the most important thing. I've got a long way to push up for that because if I play that against Vincent, I'll be, I'll be down the road. So I need to play a lot better than that. I felt good, played poor. Maybe get involved too much in the crowd, maybe going towards the stage, maybe just an experience at that level. But I won. I'm chuffed the bit to win. Got it how I play because I have been playing pretty decent recently. But it's all about a W. One of the main positives for you has got to be your finishing there. 10 out of 19 on the doubles, 1 3 Is 7. It? So well, that's, that's impressive, 53 percent. Yeah, well, that's quite deceiving though, because usually my score is my strong point and, and, and my finishing my weak point. So that just shows you, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I generally, I, I'm a scorer, and I guess I started after the first set scoring well, and then had so many six triple visits, and I'm, I'm not, I feel like I've got a lot more to give. If I, if I finish like that, I'll be happy, but I've got my scoring is my strong point, so hopefully I can um, raise it for the uh, Thursday. If I don't, I'll be. Back to work on the Friday. <laughs> and you mentioned you've been playing well recently. Last month mm -hmm. in Minehead beat Josh Rock, one of the stars of the game. Also pushed Marco Van Gogh in really close. So you must be coming in confident. Uh, yeah, if, against Van, uh, obviously Van Gogh, you kind of get a free hit kind of thing because he's obviously a, a man. He's obviously, I know he's the third number three in the world, but he's obviously for the rest for a reason. He's obviously the man on form this year. Free hit against him, against Josh, I felt like I was on, like, not, nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Um, scored well. So I say I'm a scorer, and usually that gives me chances, but for some reason today my score was not great. I don't know if just maybe inexperienced that level. I'm quite gutted to I'm actually quite devastated the way I scored, because I felt alright, I just... Maybe just inexperienced, but I won, so um, who cares how I played? So about the win, and, and, and tomorrow I'll go home winning, but I think it beat, so I'm, I'm, I've got to take that as a positive, I suppose. And you alluded to it earlier, Vincent van der Voort up next for you. Yeah. Two of the quickest players in the game. If you both get going, it'll be fireworks. <laughs> well, ho ho hopefully the two is can... He obviously is a very good player, Vincent. He's been kicking about for God knows how long. I've watched him BDO with Ed Hare at one point. But um, he's obviously been kicking about for years. Hopefully um, the two scored well with a very good game. If the two play well, it'll be a very good for the, for the crowd and stuff. So I'm looking forward to Thursday because I've got um, a mate coming down on Thursday because obviously... The, trains and stuff, I couldn't get family down and stuff, being the Scottish and stuff, so I've got a mate coming down who is looking forward to the experience as a dark player, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad now, so I need to phone up the boss tomorrow and ask for Thursday, Friday off, but he did know about this, so I'm quite lucky, so yeah, I won a first game, I've, I've, I've won a game, I'm, I'm chuffed with that, was it good? Not pretty, but it's all about the win, and I'm, I've got to take the pause of a bad, bad situation. Thank you. Cammy, congratulations. Thanks, Tom. What was it like at the top of the walk-on, walking on and that stage, looking out over Ali Pali? It, it was weird because I've been on that stage years ago. Many years ago, they'd done a, a, a thing. Bef if you won the game, you get tickets. I've played on that stage before when it was empty. I walked to it when it was empty. But it's not the same. It's not the same. Like, it's, it's, I mean, it's empty. It feels fine. But that that's... that's what teams are made of. Like, I've been lucky enough to play Lakeside and stuff, and I also thought Lakeside was my thing, but the, the PDC are just, they're making, everybody who plays PDC nowadays can make a life out of it, kind of thing, and that, that was, to win my first game as a debut, I wasn't pretty, but to win was a massive thing for me, and chuffs, like, I've got to take the best at the bad thing, I know it wasn't great, but maybe that's because I'm inexperienced at this level, but I won, and I'm, I'm happy and I'm sure my family's proud and I'm proud and we've actually proud and I won a game at Alec Pally and nobody can take that away from me. You needed it too earlier. Your last three games on TV, we've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the oh. indifferent. We, we've seen the whole mix of it. Okay. Between now and when you play Vincent, how can you mould all of that into seeing the cameraman's A game that we know is there? I'll be, I'll, I'll, we'll be travelling home tomorrow. I'll have a couple of us on the boat tomorrow. Back to work Monday for three days. I'll just practice and, and I don't think I can ever actually change that, if that makes sense. I don't know how to be more consistent. I just practice and just hope for the best. I know I've got an A game, but I've not got a C game, I've not got a B game, I'm, I'm up or down. Just need to practice and play and hopefully when it comes to Thursday I play an A game. If I don't play an A game, I'm, I'm out. Simple as that. Touching on it there, you said you haven't got those other games. Is it a matter of managing your emotions then and not beating mm. yourself up when they're not going properly? Mm. 
I wish I could actually be less emotional and be sensible. But like for instance, when I played Josh Rock, I was in the zone. But when I played Van Gaal, and I get caught in the hype a wee bit because it's Van Gaal to me. It's a bit surreal playing these guys on stage. So I sometimes get involved with the crowd, the stuff. So maybe that's maybe a bit of an experience at my level. I do believe if I want to become a top player, I need to learn how to deal with those consequences and, and push forward and be more sensible. Can I think you see, sometimes I get involved with the crowd. I don't mean to, but it's just because I don't. It feels weird being here since I've played darts since a young boy. This is my dream so I'm very lucky to be here and sometimes I need to realise that I deserve to be here I see they thinking I'm lucky to be here and hopefully in the future I can be more sensible be more focused and don't get involved with the crowd but it's easier said than done when you've you've watched this for since you're 10 12 13 year old I'm, it's a dream for me this playing here Ali Pali like I've I wish I can I wish I can explain to people how it feels I've played football I've, I've I work, but this is my dream then. Same as a lot of people, this is the dream. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, mate. You mentioned the emotions there. Do you know how to play any other way, or is that just how you do it? I'd love to walk up and be calm. But I generally would love to walk up. I've always said that Steve Beaton's my hero. Gary is always my hero, going back donkeys. But the way Steve Beaton is, I'd love to be monotonous and just don't care. Honestly, my life would be so much easier, but I think I play on the edge. I generally think I need a bit of emotion, I need a bit of a, a fight, adrenaline, and I play my game a bit. As I say, social media is not a nice place, and some folk dislike that, but I've learned all the years just to, to, just to bother. I play on the edge, I know that myself, but I just, I'm quite gutted how I played. I feel quite honest, I, I'm quite surreal because I, I wanted to win so much, but yeah, I feel a bit. But flat because I felt like I had so much more to give. How does the experience and the emotion compare to oh, the late side last right, year? Um, oh, late side's good, but late side that was here was good in the semi final and the quarter final. The first couple of rounds was quite quiet, but I've played the European tours. These European tours, apart from the travel, these European tours are amazing. Like, honestly, the experience is second to none, apart from when you've got to travel four, five, ten hours, whatever that is. But the experience in these European tours is second to none. Mm. And it, it's pretty much the same as what, what, what tonight was. And then the mine head was mental, like 5,000 people, I think. I generally just get lost. But, yeah, going back to work Monday, fixing block toilets and then doing this on the side is... You know, I'm, a very, I'm a very, very lucky person, to be honest. And I'm, I'm living the dream slowly. Hopefully one day I can put the tools away and take this full time. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Sorry. Uh, Cam. Yes. Uh, you're one of the few players who did play in two World Championships now this year and made it past the first round. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously the World Championships you went in with some confidence, but also that kind of, from having seen you, it went out the window quite quickly because yeah. it is still a World Championship yeah. either way. Uh, as you go on to the Alexander Palace, what, what kind of learnings have you brought from this year with you today? The, 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 Euro, see, the European Tours and the PDC, gets on, it, it's, it's one of the best things you can do. Like if you can play it was the Grand Slam and stuff, or the Players' Championship, these are great things to play in. But the European Tours, out with the travel sometimes, is one of the best things you'll ever experience. Like this is just 3,000 Germans, Belgium, Dutch, whatever it is, and these, these crowds and atmosphere, like you, you, I wish I could bottle and sell it because I'd make a fortune. I've not played in a lot of them, but I've, every time I've, I've played in a few, like I've played counties, I've played internationals, I've played Lakeside, the, the, the European tours, like it's, it's, it makes you, like for instance, the day I actually felt good, I didn't play well, but I generally felt, it felt like a European tour, if that makes sense, because these are amazing, these European tours, these are, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's a, 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 a um, a thing I wish I can bottle and sell. Like, my mate's coming down on Thursday now. I'm quite glad I won because he couldn't get down this weekend because of the strikes. He can make Thursday, so it was a he buzzing, but he is actually buzzing to come down here. Like he, he he's got a, he's a semi-professional footballer. He's he's buzzing. So I wish I said to him, come to European tours. Like European tours are amazing, but the PDC is life now. Like you look at the the future for everybody. Like, there's the woman that's now is. Climbing, climbing up. There's like Paul, Lisa. There's, there's others out there that that's nowadays is, is mental. Like, it's, I've got guys at work I don't even know. Phoning me, text me, good luck because they know I play darts. It's just darts is a massive thing now, and I won't say Christmas is darts to me because I've I've practiced when the darts was on. It's, it's weird to be here. They said they're sitting in the house watching it, so I'm I'm glad I won. But yeah, it's 
I need to help it. <laughs> How do you uh, bring yourself to the board once you get back on it? Do you more of the same preparation, or do you try to adjust a bit? Or? I, I wanted to try something to do better. Um, I, I need to find something better than what I did today. I thought I practiced well. I thought I, um, I generally felt all right. I generally felt good. It just didn't happen. I, I can't really say. I felt okay before I played. I won the bowl. I generally felt okay in the stage. Won the first set. I it wasn't pretty, but then I just kept chasing trebles, and and, and I hate that. Like, I'm a scorer, as I said. I'm, my scores my strong point in my game. When I start chasing. I'm, I'm there to get beat, and Diego's spell was scoring, but he was pretty much the same as me. It was just became a, a, a it was a battle kind of thing. It wasn't it wasn't pretty. It wasn't for an early part of the game. It wasn't pretty. I'm not proud of that game, but it, it goes in records to win. So unfortunately, that's the only thing that matters to me. But I need to do a lot better on Thursday or a quick exit on Thursday if I play like that. And how much do you rely on? Obviously, you've got your partner with you, your friend is coming down. How much does that mean to you? It does. Me? I wish my mum and dad were coming down because they, they've, they've done a lot for me. I've played youth, I've played um, so I played football when I was younger and I was decent. I, was, I played semi pro, but mum and dad have always done a lot for me. Quite got to not here, but because of the fights and the tap, it's like nine hours drive. A fortune for flights and stuff. So they they wanted to come down, but because they kind of get a train, quite gutted about that. But my mate's coming down on Thursday. Couldn't get this weekend off, but he says if you qualify for Thursday, I'm coming down. So that means a lot to me because the fan will be here, Monica will be here, the same folk. But one of my best mates coming down, and that does mean a lot because like, we we've, we've, we've go back for years, and and he's never he he plays darts on the side. So this is new for him, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that on Thursday because um, he's been chatting with a bit to come down, but he couldn't get this weekend up when he's working. So Thursday's a big deal for him and for me because no matter what happens now, I've won a game for a decent year, not played great, but I'm, I'm chuffed to win, but I will need to get my finger up, basically. Live the dream together. Well, well, yeah. Well, father's played better than me towards the Ali Pally and I have, and, and she's played a lot better than me. That's maybe the worst game I've played in a long time, but sometimes you get involved in a battle, but you don't do it one. But, but unfortunately, in darts, who cares? 100 average, 60 average is all about the win.